The term LASIK stands for Laser Assisted In Situ Keratomalusis. LASIK is a surgical procedure used to correct refractive errors such as myopia or short sightedness, hyperopia or long sightedness, and also astigmatism. There are a few common refractive errors that LASIK can correct. Myopia, or more commonly known as short sightedness, generally occurs when the eye is longer than normal, so that distant light rays are focused to a point in front of the retina, causing close objects to be seen clearly and distant objects to appear blurred. Hyperopia or long-sightedness generally occurs when the eye is shorter than normal so that distant light rays are focused to a point behind the retina causing close objects to be blurred and distant objects to be clearer. Astigmatism generally occurs when the curvature of the cornea is unequal so that objects at all distances appear blurred and distorted. A laser called an eczema laser is used to change the shape and the thickness of the cornea by removing minute amounts of corneal tissue in a very precise manner. In myopia, the central cornea is flattened to decrease its focusing or refractive power. In hyperopia, the cornea is actually steepened to increase its refractive or focusing power. In astigmatism, the irregular cornea is smoothened out to even out its refractive power. The aim of LASIK is to decrease the dependence on wearing spectacle glasses or contact lenses. In people who wear spectacle glasses, many of them find it very inconvenient for their daily activities such as sporting activities. Also, people who have very high degree of myopia find that wearing glasses is very uncomfortable because these glasses are very heavy. And wearing them for prolonged periods, they find that these glasses um, give them significant discomfort. For those individuals without a very prominent nose bridge, they also complain that these glasses tend to slip down their noses. For contact lens wearers, many of them develop dry eyes or significant discomfort after prolonged wear of these lenses. Many of them also develop complications associated with the wear of contact lenses, namely allergic conjunctivitis, dry eyes and even infections of the eye. A suitable candidate for LASIK would be one who has a stable refractive error, meaning that the refractive error no longer is increasing. Now, such an individual would preferably be at least 21 years of age so that he can give informed consent for the operation. He or she should also have a set of healthy eyes with no pre-existing ocular disease such as cataract or glaucoma. Furthermore, as LASIK involves removing minute amounts of corneal tissue, the individual should also have adequate corneal thickness relative to the amount of refractive error that he or she has.